Hey, I want to share with you today this altered cigar box that I made um, quite a few years ago. And, but I just had so much fun with it and it's one of my favorite uh, mixed media art pieces. Um, I love Halloween and I love altering things and this piece just really was one of my favorite. It really came together well. So I'll show you the different sides of the box. And I wish I could remember the name of these stamps because I've lost them and I would like to be able to find them hoping that someday I'll run across them on eBay. But they were, this tree especially was one of my favorite stamps ever and I cannot find it anywhere. <laughs> and that's just how it goes. You have so many things and so then the bottom is just some wooden spools. And then the top has a little key. And it has a piece of an old um, tag and a word from an old piece of um, a music sheet from 1832. And it said Wolfgang Vaughn. On it and I thought that was kind of fun and then a little stamp that went with that set of stamps um, this is just an old rusted handle and um, the front says Twilight is falling um, and that is from an antique sheet of music as well but I just love the font in that font book so that's what that looks like and then the top just opens up and has a little snap closure on the top. And inside we have I'll show you what the inside of the book looks like. And it has some collage, some ink, some stamping. And then the inside of the box has an altered bottle. Um, I found that word in an old dictionary. It uh, says M purple, um, to basically to make purple. <laughs> um, I found this, um, this is an old stamp. I think it went with that set, but it might not have. I'm not 100% sure. I found this little old cap that I put on this bottle. It just fit really well. And a little bit of paper bag. And then inside I put some um, purple acrylic paint. This is an old antique medicine bottle. I thought that was kind of cool. I'll do that booklet here in just a minute. Here we have um, an antique uh, Avon cosmetic bottle, but I just love that jar. It's just so compact and neat. And so on the top, um, there's a dictionary page that says pupa of moth and I thought that was pretty cool so you know technically it's not actually in there but that's in my mind that's what's in there is a pupa of a moth and then the, this actually came out of the inside of an antique book it came out of the spine and it just kind of ripped out and it was just such a cool texture and age I like it so that's part that's what that is and then some some stamping with that same same stamp there it's on the edges there then we have a little scroll just a little scroll with some um, some old math book pages to give it that kind of um, spell looking look to it some burnt edges and some dye and stuff and then the spell book a nice little spell book and it has some layered pages and some antique German sheets that had like a really cool font on them. Um, gave her a little witch's hat. I loved her black dress. It was just so cool. Uh, the cover is actually a manila folder that was painted with um, some different colors of brown acrylic paint. 
and then wrinkled up after it was dry it was wrinkled up and then inked so it really has that kind of leather feel to it it's got kind of a really leather feel to it it's pretty cool um, and then the inside is just some pages from an old book that I've torn you can see it's like an old vocabulary book but and then I did some writing and some stamping just kind of you know silly writing and um, there's an old card that says venomous and, um, some pages from an old antique um, dictionary some stamping just some different things just a little bit of this and that kind of make it look like a little spell book. Bewitching brew. Maybe some different things that the witch might have had. Made rubbings of. Stamp. Stamping and some stitching. Not stitching, um, writing. bugs from different pages and some stamps. Potion number 137. I love that it's like some old handwriting out of an old ledger. Just kind of illegible. It's kind of smeary, smudgy. You know, make it look like it's been around for a long time. Coherent, just needs to look the part. Candelabrum, little card. Caleb's spell. Different pages. You could totally put uh, more obvious and direct witchy kind of things in here, but I just wanted it to be kind of decorative and kind of um, just to just to go along with the theme and not be anything real but to kind of look like it had some kind of importance at some point. Belief spell. There's some different Greek words. And it's all kinds of layering and stamping and collage work. So just kind of, just enough to make it look like it's a good spell book and it's not just a bunch of pages that look like that. A few of those is fine. But it was kind of a fun, fun little book to work on. So anyway, that's the little spell book that goes with the witchy case. So we got her spell book, her spell scroll, um, some potion some potion materials and then that is our witch's travel case and that was just a whole lot of fun to make had a really fun time doing that and I kind of want to make some more um, I need to find some cool um, stamps and stuff yeah, but, uh, I don't know if you can see but that has kind of some velvet to it some scrapbook paper that has a little bit of velvet stuck on it but uh, anyway, so that's the end of my witchy travel case. Uh, I hope you like that. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of that kind of art. And um, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And thank you so much for watching. See you next time.